In this example, we are going to have a look how you can use borders and fill colour within your spreadsheets. Spreadsheets hold a lot of data in them. Of course, the spreadsheet in front of you is quite small, but this could be many rows and many columns bigger. At the moment, if you print this spreadsheet, the data will appear as it is. You can print with grid lines, but some people like to have borders on it to make it stand out a little bit more. Adding on borders and fill colour is a two-step process. So you need to first of all select the cells you want to apply the borders or fill colour to and then apply it. A common mistake people can make is they will select, will have a cell selected, go before highlighting their data to the fill colour, select a colour and then wonder why it hasn't been filled in. They then realise that actually it's because they didn't actually select the cells they needed to begin with. So first of all, we're going to select our data and then we're going to go up to the borders option which is found here on your home tab. I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and you can see there are a number of borders you can choose from in this view. So all of these borders you can select. You'll have to build them up doing it this way. So select one, go back in, select the next one, etc. So now a good way to do it is to go all the way to the bottom, hover over here if there is an arrow and select the more borders option at the bottom. This allows you to build up your borders a bit more in a little bit more detail and sometimes a bit easier doing it all in one go. What we're going to do is we're going to select a border style from this list, select a different colour, so we'll go for a blue. Another common um, mistake people can make at this point is to click OK and then wonder why they can't see any borders on their data. The reason for this is you haven't actually added any borders to your preview area here. You've just selected the style you want, the colour you want, but haven't actually applied them. There's a couple of presets you can choose from at the top or you can individually do it using these buttons or you can click on the part of the preview area you want the border to be on and this will apply it on for you. I'm going to use the inside option here and then click OK and you can see it's now applied these borders to our data. And I want to have a slightly different border. So even though we've got the dotted line, which I'm happy with, I'd like to have a bold line going underneath the headings and down the side. To do this, if you go up and select this option, it will add a bottom border, but the colour will be black. Best to go back onto that more borders option, which I clicked on the button, or you can click on the arrow and go down to the bottom, take it the same way. Now I'm going to select the solid line and just click the bottom option here. There is only two texts now because we've only got one row of data selected. Click OK and you'll see it's now added that solid line in. Same again, select your column A, go back in, select your solid line, click on the border you want, OK. You can now see it's added all those borders for you. So that's how you can use borders in your data. We're now going to use some fill colour to highlight any numbers that are 200 or above. So first we're going to select these two numbers here, go up onto our fill colour and select an orange. Same again with 250 and you can now see these three numbers now stand out more than the rest. So the fill colour can be used to highlight an exceptional month or something that's under a certain figure that you set. So you can use this to highlight something. If it's just a couple of options or a couple of numbers, you can just use it to bring those numbers to someone's attention. So that's just how you can use fill colour and borders within your spreadsheet to make them stand out a little bit more.